An apologist for Islam, in this case, is someone who uh, wants to argue that uh, Islam is like any other religion, right? So there's no special basis for concern, and there's no uh, link to violence that is more direct in this theology than in any other. Uh, and so any specific focus on Islam as being problematic uh, in this century or any other is born of, of either not understanding the religion or it's born of uh, some other animus either toward Arabs or people from the Middle East or dark-skinned people, so it's an expression of, of racism or xenophobia uh, and is therefore obviously illegitimate. And so a, a Muslim apologist is someone who wants to make that case and um, immunize Islam from any sort of special criticism or special fear. And the, the term of jargon now used by apologists is to cry Islamophobia in this case. They, 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 anyone who's criticizing Islam, anyone who is noticing that uh, suicide bombing and other tactics of, of violence against uh, non-combatants is uniquely at this point in history coming from this one faith, uh, that person is an Islamophobe. That person is expressing an illegitimate fear and worse, a, a, a hatred of a certain group of people based on um, their identity as Muslims. A Muslim apologist would have followed Majid's point here in saying that uh, his radicalization was the result of totally understandable terrestrial grievances. This is a person who had suffered racism. He had seen his friends victimized and been victimized himself. He had received undue attention from the police based on the fact that he had brown skin. And he had witnessed overseas the, just the, the, the callousness with which the West treated the deaths of Muslims. Uh, had there been white Christians uh, being the, uh, victimized by the, the Serbs in this case, it's presumed the West would have been much more animated, much more eager to intercede on their behalf. But because it's Muslims dying by the tens of thousands, uh, the world could just sit and watch. An apologist would, would take those facts and use them to prove the case that it really is just politics and just personal grievance and just um, uh, a collision with, with the forces of colonialism and privilege and power that explains the, the phenomenon of Islamism and jihadism. And the idea that it's only these things, that it's just politics and just economics and just the history of colonialism giving us this death cult behavior in the Muslim community, East and West, uh, that, that sole explanation is a fiction.